wondering what are the rules that duck boats have to follow? Seven on your side, I team reporter Scott Taylor has been digging for those answers and joins us at the live desk. Scott, what did you find out? Well, Michelle, duck boats have to follow the same rules on the road as you and I. And in the water, the same regulations apply like any watercraft, but recent accidents have made some operators change the way they're going to protect you while you're on board. On a daily basis, DC ducks roll around the district and slide passengers into the Potomac for a ton of fun. A couple of safe things to go over first, guys. Um, we are actually going to be jumping in the water today. DC Ducks declined to speak to ABC7 on camera, but Boston Ducks Tours tells our affiliate in Boston it doesn't allow its vehicles to enter the Charles River during lightning storms and never if winds are expected to be over 25 knots or waves are over a foot. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, DC Ducks was last inspected on March 7th. Each duck boat gets certified and it's valid for five years. The I-Team has requested a copy of DC Ducks last inspection. The Branson, Missouri duck boat went into a lake which is 80 feet deep and life jackets were on board. Company officials believe bad weather played a part in the accident. It was uh, almost like a micro burst. It was, uh, we had boats out there where it was perfectly calm and then we had a high speed wind system that just came out of nowhere and uh, uh, out of that storm front and, uh, and, there, and there we were. On the Potomac, DC police say anyone 13 and under must wear a life jacket while above board. Because we're in the water, Coast Guard makes us an inspected vessel, so we actually need to run through where these are, how they are used. After an accident in the city, Boston Duck Tours stopped using drivers as tour guides. Now, right now, the I-Team is back in the newsroom digging into federal records that appear to reveal how an accident 28 years ago that killed 13 has one major thing in common with yesterday's deadly accident. Scott Taylor, ABC7 News. Scott, thank you. ABC7 